It is the return of Wigglytuff Gaming. It's been like over a week since my last tournament stream, which I feel kind of bad about. Um, but yes, it is back. Um, yes. <laughs> playing the Wigglytuff list from Orlando. And I'm going to up against Chimpao playing... Looks like the list's... Um, I guess they're playing Silene, they're playing Vac, they're playing Cologne. How do they fit all this stuff? It's a great question. They just did. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Let's get it. So this is usual late night tournament that we do on uh, Wednesday nights. I haven't, I didn't do this one last week. It's like been so long since the last tournament that I did. It feels so weird because like usually it's streaming every day and i'm i'm bad so i don't <laughs> i haven't streamed the tournament since last monday all right broken um so here before the vod let's go i don't have anything yeah we're just gonna win with that weekly tough tonight because the deck is broken and yeah i like I've did kind of bad the last tournament, the last few tournament streams, but yeah, I I I won with the IRL, so like yeah, we're gonna win with it online now too, right? That's yes, totally, definitely, for sure. Uh, what's up, Spugatti TCG? <laughs> Seems good, King. Just grind, don't stop. Thank you. Yeah, I, I I think I I think I was the highest placing fairy, which is I'm just kind of surprised by. Like I didn't see a ton. I only sat next to it one time, and I didn't really see it too much either. But I was still kind of surprised because the deck is really good. So, um, yeah, I guess there's a lot of, um. Yeah, I don't know. It just didn't didn't pop up as much as I guess pe people thought it would. Cause like control's never gonna be very highly played, but like, usually a lot of the better players in the game play it because it's a really good deck. But I guess that didn't happen this time. We didn't we didn't have a Kremiscoli or a Sander playing control, so it was doomed. Yo, this hand's so broken. This hand's crazy. Rotom is prized. We have everything else though. The Wiggly Tufts in the deck. Price double Arvin. Alright, this is fine. I could bench the Jigglypuff. Sure. I'm not sure, like, because I don't want Jigglypuff on the board if they're not going to bench, or if they are going to bench Bib Barrel. Um, but we'll just assume that they are going to bench Bib Barrel. It's fine. <laughs> All right, they're doing the usual Chimpao stuff. We got the next turn. So we could just Ultra Ball for the bird and rip an Iono, I guess. We could. Yeah. We have a couple of different ways we can go next turn because like they're holding candy. So playing an Eerie sounds pretty fun. I really want to Eerie them. I think my hands is kind of dead, but it like... No, I mean, I know it's not. I have bird. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this could just be really dumb, but it sounds hilarious. So, yeah, we can. We can get the heavy ball. We'll get our road time out of the prizes. So we're able to draw cards and we are going to then eerie your hand yeah this is the same list as orlando didn't make any changes uh, let's see. all right this is good all right what about the bravery charm do i want to put it on the mimicu let's see what they have in hand first there we go we knew they had it like that oh they even have so that they still have it because they have cypher but their hand still kind of sucks 
I'll charm the activist so shuriken isn't as good value for them. Alright, we are chilling. Kind of. <laughs> as chilling as this hand can be, I guess. But yeah, we got Raven SER and a, and a candy. So they, they like Cypher stack candy packs. I could have buried away the Ultra Ball as well. But I'm not, I, I don't know. It's fine. I guess it would really suck if they could Prime Catcher a KO Pidgeot, but I doubt they can. They would need to have six energies in hand to do that. I mean, just bend an SER? Yeah, so I suppose it's possible. They had like two energies in hand on the on the Airy, right? But yeah, they need candy backs and they need more energies. And they only had Cypher concealed, so. They had like Toxic Pokestop, I guess. Or Cypher to Pokestop. Oh, they actually concealed before the Cypher. That's interesting. Um, okay. They hit a Pokestop. <laughs> Never punished. Oh no, are we gonna get coked? I mean, maybe they did top deck stop. But either way, are we gonna get punished? For, for, for being silly and greedy? <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Thank you. they probably go candy right this is this is only a, a three candy list i hope oh they're playing four bro how'd they fit silene candy cologne and vac i guess only two stops oh shoot our bird's getting knocked out this, the silly play was not the good play <laughs> do they just have it all like that hey, what's up camel this the uh the funny play probably wasn't very good they did bench the doof though but they still have silene cologne bro do they seriously have six energies in hand there's no way you stack prime catcher maybe there is like you don't want to get a sister away but now i know you have it in hand <laughs> this game's been weird at least i can cape my bird next turn to give it a little bit of protection um, there's an ultra ball. Oh, so they, they have the backs raw in hands. Dang, that was a pretty nuts concealed card. It's like it either got them Pokestop or backs. They got, oh, they can prime into C pound. Probably get there. Rip. Yeah, we probably just lose. <laughs> that was fun. Their hand has to be like five energy, but I'm assuming it is. Sheesh. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm trying to think if I like could have or should could have or should have done it differently, but like realistically, what could I? I mean, I could have caved the bird, right? Um, <laughs> like, theoretically, playing Aerie should make a very low odds that they knock out the bird. Huh. Pretty, pretty epic. Because I can't even really reestablish it since uh, Candy and Pidgeot are prized. Um... Yeah, this is terrible. This is, this is the uh, Orlando list. I think my win con is going to have to be KO backs, um, which I guess is so we're sort of getting there because uh, we can get forest next turn. Uh, we just like need to need the counter catcher, I guess. This might still be winnable. They just had the absolutely insane. <laughs> like They didn't have like three energies hand before the airy, did they? Oh, they just stopped away double Irida. I have the bundle. That's pretty good. Um, dang. I, I guess I should have puff into Pidgey. Bruh. Sheesh. Okay. 
I guess we could go and knock out their only backs next turn with Radzard potentially. Hey, got the Vigil sweep, nice. Um, okay. They're gonna We go for the Radzard hit and uh dang. <laughs> and Venge Fiji, so that happens, right? Okay. Yeah, we can kill the only backs and at least maybe buy some kind of time and get back into this game, maybe. So we would Arvin for Nestle Forest Healstone. I mean, I guess. We also could maybe Jigglypuff for the knockout, which would be pretty good. Nest Ball off the top. I don't... We, we, we could get ninja but I want a free retreat pivot for, for Radzard. Okay, ripping stop is so risky, but like also I really would like prefer to Wigglytuff this turn than Zard. I think the... Okay. The risk reward is worth, I think. Because I still always have Arvin for counter catcher if all else fails, but like... If this goes right, um, I mean, it's cards. Yeah, I'm one short. Almost, though, almost. It's fine. We can retreat, combustion, KO, still have the forest banked up. Um, I guess I'm, I'm more talking about like an eventual ninja KO, not an immediate one. I don't like having to retreat to energy, though. That kind of sucks. We don't have a have a choice. Okay, looking forward to seeing high to be at Indy. Yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty cool. I was very surprised how many people um said hi to me this weekend. It was very cool. I definitely did not expect it. Okay, this is fine, right? <laughs> what could possibly? I would be I'd be feeling so much better if I would have played that pop in last turn and put down Cleffa. Well if I if I, if I put down Cleffa Pidgey, I just get ninja la the, the last turn. So yeah. Um they still have three two candies and a Silene. Yeah, because I also have candy Pidgey out prized. We'll see what, what they do though, because I could maybe chase another Friggy. Um, they have another Irida. I could go Airy. Uh, we could try to go Airy into. Dang, I really wish this was Rotom and second instant charge. So that was probably a misplay. But I didn't want to have a water energy stacked, so they could just go attach KO Radzard. Are they gonna go double Friggy? So that play becomes a lot less good, and they're sitting on Bib in hand. I think. The CC off the top, okay. Um, I mean, we could just go take two prizes, but that sounds kind of. Nah, yeah, but like getting those off the prizes would be pretty good. Huh. A lot, lot of choices here. I'm not sure which the best one is because I'm. There was that bib in hand earlier, right? Because this could just be Penny plus take knockout. Um, and then try to sweep with Wigglytuff. I'm burnt. I mean, it, it might be all that we have. If, if this is Rotom, I get Airy in charge. That'd be. Pretty okay, I guess. Or this could, this could just be Iona to two. Um, I think I like that more. We'll drag this up to maybe make things harder for them so they can't just chill for energy. Yo, what's up, Boofling? Nah, I want to kind of build my hand a little bit here, get new cards up. 
If this was Rotom, this would be so much better. Um, that seems bad. Okay. They still have Pokestop? Yeah, but I knew they had Bib in hand. Um, and they still have... Yeah, like that, I mean, they, they hit, they ripped stop, but it didn't get him anywhere. I guess they technically can win the game. I should have charmed Pidgey, so, well, no, I still lose something like Shuriken regardless. I could have gone charm Pidgey vests. Zard, I guess. Um, but I could Silene stack candy on top. Is that even good though? Cause like it's like a one in five chance I pull the Epidiots. Um, I have the Ultra for the the Barrel. But then that's two retreat, which is kind of awkward for them. This seems very weird. I can't believe that they had the turn two Gust on my on my dude. Even though I like airied them, <laughs> they still had everything like that. Okay. Yeah, they gave him the Ultra Ball off the Iona, so that kind of sucked. And they still have Silene left, so we couldn't even go Mawile locking it. The other Pidgeot's prized. Um, but technically, yeah, that would be okay. I don't mind like just killing here. Oh, the rod though. To be Ultra Ball candy off this Silene, and we'd be gaming. Ah oh, man. I mean, we still could get candy, I guess. But is that is that really that good? I mean, it might, and we still have most of our Ultra Balls as well. Um, we can also attach to this leave energy. No, we can't attach to the leave off. Yeah, this seems okay. Um, because then we do have a rod that we could like, yeah, put 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 the dude back. All right, let's not lose to. Moonlight Shuriken. Uh, we could rod. No, I want to see the rod for maybe Radzard. That would have been nuts. Uh, but it's okay because they have really limited search for their backs right now. Rip the Arvin, which is technically Pidgeot. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's not over yet. I guess they can still just Hailblade kill Zard. And then what are we doing? Um, because they have time to find everything else. The stick would be tough in their face. Did they rod back in bundle? They did not. Hmm. It's gotten very interesting. Alright, that was a terrible Pokestop. <laughs> uh, yeah. This has been a very crazy game. Yeah, the... Yeah, stop is pretty bad for them. They did... Oh, they're going to Hailblade and knock me out. Oh, and they have the Baxcalibur. Um... Hmm. So they're gonna have like a I guess they have concealed, right? Yeah, how are we winning this game? Probably has to be tough. Okay. I'd love to airy them right now because I'm really confident that they're holding SERs, but it's just probably not possible. Um, let's see what we can do here. 
Ultra off the top. All right. CC. We have the KO on backs, but like, how good is that? What are the odds they have fourth candy plus backs? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Radzard fire. So, like, we have the Nest Ball plus Tool card here. We could go KO Bax and just say that you don't find your last candy to win the game. But, that, like, that seems kind of co. But how else do we win this game? Um, I mean, it seems very cope, but I don't know how else we, how else we're getting there. I use mallets to, I would have to have drawn into the double turbo to get that, which isn't out of the question, but it would have been hard. I could fang snipe here too. Just boss up backs and fang snipe. That might be best actually. Cause then they need, they need a ser attach like they're down all three rods two ser's um yeah i think luxury is the move pull up the vax caliber bang snipe and then try to establish wiggly after that to sweep <laughs> um because they're down yeah Um, so yeah, let's just hit a superior here. Let's go. Winnable. Um, shoot. Do they have enough? No, because if they, if they bundle back into Pidgeot, they need five energies. And that's retreat too. Yeah, so they have five total energies left, basically. I'm pretty sure we actually win this game. I think. They, they, they have to pop this SER now that we know it's in there. They really should have popped one last turn. That was definitely a misplay. Yeah, they're on three rod, three SERs. They literally only have this, this one SER left. <laughs> and they... I guess, no, Silene's going to be the... Uh, Oh, Silene could be the problem here. But they have to be able to draw the Silene, right? Which, because they can't poke us up into it. They have to, like, SER, then concealed, then hit heads. Ugh. That might be their, their play. It's just so stressful. I, I, I hate it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, they're down three super rods. Three superiors. Looks like they're going for the Silene play, which I think is their best bet. Or they're really their only win con, I think, at this point. Um Which is kind of kind of a yikes. Imagine Silene's the last prize, just one time, do it for me. <laughs> okay, they just pass, which I suppose is good for us. Um, I own to one now, probably. I own to one Fang Snipe. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, sounds good. How much time is left in a round? That's... Oh, six minutes. We got to kind of hurry things up here. Okay, let's play a little faster. Energy is to, to the bottom. Fire, Penny. 
Okay. I mean, it, that's just a card. And that, that also makes so they can't shuffle their deck, get the energy off their off the bottom. And we go KO backs and just play super fast. And I think this is this is our game. Cause they have to somehow it with a I mean they could they have concealed, right? Just don't slow play me now, buddy. <laughs> you won Guardian Hands. You don't have plays. Oh, come on. Because we know the late night judges don't like to act under five minutes. Shoot. What do we do, chat? We're, we're in a... We're in a bad spot. Not... No, we're, like, we're, we're, we're winning this game, but they're gonna... Okay. We just play fast. Vacuum the stop as well. Go, 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 Four minutes. And I'm going to be, like, have my... I'm going to be ready to call this judge. Ooh. Knockout. The next turn we have Penny Clefus. We don't lose to a ninja. Okay. I don't like okay, they're not they're not slow playing yet. Yeah, we just go boss KO Frigibax next turn and they just like lose. And then we have Radzard for the for the finish. Cause they'd have all three Friggies down, so they don't play boss. Or are we just penny? Nah. Okay. I guess technically they could Silene hit Prime Catcher. They just conceded. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, because I guess if they say lean for, for Prime, that's their last water energy, so they can't win. Broken deck. <laughs> that was crazy. We are back. This is what Wiggly Tough Gaming is all about. We're not supposed to be having the super stressful rounds, round one. We're supposed to save those for the end of the stream when, like, Everyone's here and the vibes are are out. Oh. <laughs> How many rounds? Probably eight. Yeah. I think I'm shaking already. It's round one. It's not supposed to be like that. Dang. One with Guardy Bennett. Nice. Lots of Zard tonight. We 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 like to see it. Zard, CPAO, the usual suspects, but like double Zard, like I read everything else is kind of a surprise. Eight bird controls, you'll have to see it. What percent of these are, are, are playing Wigglytuff? Because there is people playing Noivern, which is just fake. Only half of them are, there's just as many Wigglytuffs as there are Noibats almost. Oh no. How do I win against Regilecki? Like if it's like like the control Zard list, you just fang snipe when whenever they they reg a lackey, and you don't get anywhere. Like you can put two double turbos on your luxury, so you never knock out the reg lackey. But they they're just grabbing a card. You're just discarding that card. And the bird control mirror. Do you want to mill them or start hitting with Pidgeot? I think if you can be the first one to mill, like. You'd only start hitting if you're like playing from behind. Like you, you're a couple mills behind, or they've gotten rid of several key resources. Um, then you might want to start hitting to like force them to kind of adapt. Because like if they like if they're like several mills ahead, and then you just start milling, you're not gonna win the game most likely. If like there's six cards of deck ahead of you, like plus they've got like a pow pad or two, then like you're just not gonna win. Um, so you have to like find a you got to kind of think outside the box to win. Ever miss Booth? Not really. 
What are thoughts on your Arc Drago lists? I'm a big Arc Drago fan. Dang, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, all right. Props to my opponent for scooping, though, and not being that guy and slow playing. Because <laughs> they definitely could have tried to if they really wanted to. Since we know the uh, late night judges don't like to act under two minutes or whatever. One card I was really hesitant to cut was the fighting energy because I was like, ah, attacking with cloth sounds so good, I'm going to miss it. But in 15 rounds over the weekend, there wasn't a single time where I wanted falling press. So I, and there were quite a few times where Snorlax was, was better, was good. So. I, one, one thing I do like about the longer rounds, though, is we're just going right back at it. There's no uh, no long long periods of uh, downtime. Pokes is cringe, but Gro's playing Poke. What the heck? Okay. Baby Ancient. Okay. There's a card. There is a Prime. But they have... Yeah, they just have Prime for, for Gust. So that that's pretty good. They do have the slither wing that can maybe deal with the uh, Luxray. But it's Torzard. Three. Yeah. It was like it's 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 really good against Arctina. Like that's the, the matchup where attacking with cloth is best in, but it's still not. Like, Artina wasn't even, like, a top six most played deck in Orlando, was it? I mean, I didn't face any. <laughs> I didn't see a ton of them either. Let's get it. That first one was so epic. I don't know how I follow it up here. Like, we peaked. The uh, peak content was in the first 30 minutes. That's not how you're supposed to do it. I'm a total noob. All right, let's get it. That matchup isn't great, but at least being able to hit stuff like early game is good because like you're kind of like stuck Waiting around a while until Rad's on its life. Because it's sometimes too hard to build up Wiggly if they're doing their, like, they have Tomb or all their disruption. Uh, but at least it does, see, like, I, I know there was one top 16 list from Orlando that played Triple City, which just sounds atrocious for Control. But it d did seem like a lot of them were dropping Ares, so. Um, or what am I up against again? I forgot. Oh yeah, baby ancients. Let's open Clever. We'll see what we can what we can do here. Ah oh, man, they know they open Karidon or Fluttermane is really bad for them. I kind of don't want to just bleed this prize, but also just being stuck behind Lax. That sucks. Fine. What are my opinions on Meowskarada EX? I mean, it was pretty funny that it got a top 32 in Perth. I'm still not sure the deck is very good or like, okay. Charge is getting popular enough that dedicated Zard hard counters. As long as they have good enough spreads in the rest of the meta are probably okay. But I haven't really thought much about Meow Scrata. Like I don't know like what if it beats anything else. Or it just basically exists to beat Zard and doesn't even beat Zard because of the Radiant Charizard. Um Yeah, I saw someone like point out that like Perth Regionals was smaller than the day two League Cup. <laughs> at Orlando, which is hilarious. Um, right, we can get the candy out of the forest, seal stone. 
could fang snipe here i don't think i really like that i, I sort of just want to i like to establish the wiggly i might just be attached dte uh well no i can't get that <laughs> I think this oh we pressed double fire and the double turbo. Okay, we really started to get needed dang, okay. Uh, that's that's a lot of good cards. Just thin, I think. Alright, this is fine. I guess do we really care about taking stop boy that much? Should I just save it to get gotten rid of a capsule? Potentially. You went on a game entry with with Mascarada 60 earlier. Nice. I haven't like I haven't tried it at all, so I don't really have a firm opinion on the deck. But I think Zard's U strip probably only goes up, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, but like the, like there, there's not quite a few people I've I've seen comparing it to Silver Tempest Lugia. I think that's kind of a bad take though, because we're we're not the like the Lugia formats. I mean, you, you do kind of have to play play Zard or beat Zard, but also like Zard isn't so overwhelmingly better than everything else like Zard okay Zard's clearly the, the best second format like it's that's pretty obvious but it's not so much better than everything else that nothing really compares right I might just go like quick search for mists retreat instance I'll see what they have in hand we know they have rod okay that works All right, let's get this. Depriving so many energies feels pretty jank. Broken. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. Surprise factor definitely matters. Like, I know there's like a lot of um, like, there's, there's, like, a lot of pros to open lists because you, like, can know exactly what to expect, but, like, also, like, personally, I got a lot of that surprise factor this weekend with, with my deck, and I kind of feel like, yeah, it's, like, it's, like, kind of a big deal. <laughs> like, that's the, that's the best way I can, I can put it, like, Having your opponent not know what you're trying to do and doing silly stuff to kind of try to counteract it is pretty good for you. All right, now we're going to be like big brain, ultra smart here. Yes, I, I just benched fish. They play one gust. What do I have to worry about? Think about getting a custom play map made? Nice. And get the vacuum back, but save it. I could rip stop into it, but I don't care. I don't. Like, I don't want to. We don't have. We don't have to uh, do that. We just punch. And then we have two KOs next turn plus an Iono, and we're at uh, gaming. What's better, Art Drago with high counts of research and explorers or Curlia's? I kind of don't like having a bunch of single prizers on the board. So we just win the game. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, my uh my plan worked, chat. <laughs> the double knockout broken. We'll be sort of carrying. 
All right, sick. Your granny also has Lugia best deck. For sure, for sure. If if we're living in a hypothetical world where every deck sets up every single time, sure. Sure. Lugia is 100% BDIF. All right, well, that was a lot faster of a round. So I'm not, I'm not quite so sure how I feel about it, but it was a dub. <laughs> oh no, so I'm gonna get. I said League US BDIF, rip. Yo, what's up, Alex? I did it, chat. I said Lugia was what's, what's BDIF. I'll see what's it well after the first round. I, I did see at the uh, first late nights, there was a Bennett Spide Ops that got top four, I think. So I wonder if it got if it got Ned decked. This is kind of kind of crazy. Lugia BDIF. No. <laughs> where, um, in a, in our hypothetical world where every deck sets up every single time, then it then it's BDIF. That's the only place it's BDIF. <laughs> Definitely. I don't know how this is better than Bennett. I guess maybe it's a better Zard. <laughs> Item lock is pretty funny. But is Ancient a real deck? I'm still kind of like wondering that myself because I mean I was I was probably too harsh on Ancient Box. And it's definitely going to get, like, it was already, like, what, 6% or so at Orlando. It's probably only going to get popular, or going to get more popular from there. But also, um, I feel like any deck that takes an unfavored Zard, you kind of have to be skeptical about. Probably be Gardevoir with Control. Um, well, I faced... Two in Orlando, and I'm not like okay, that's a pretty small sample size, right? But the way the games would, would play out was would be they either decide to bench lock themselves to play on Erica's to um uh yeah, to like play on Erica's so I can't ninja or Erica's that them. But like that's not as good for them anymore, because like their curlias aren't big, it's like they have like, if they have more than two Curlias now, like, that kind of sucks for them because I just trapped that Curlia. They sort of have to, like, limit their draw power. And if they want to do that, they have a really tough time about... A really tough time dealing with Wigglytuff. And also, like, a lot of things in their deck can get stuck. Like, three, putting three energies on a Flutter main just for, it, like, Mawile to trap it. And it not, like, Mawile doesn't want... It doesn't want hit Mawile. Um... Three has to go on a guard EX, doesn't one hit Snorlax. Um, so like if they don't want to bench stuff, like Wigglytuff can kind of body them, but if they do want to bench stuff, then Mawile Snorlax Retreat Lock becomes your uh, game plan. Pl pl pleasure meeting you in Orlando. Thank you for signing up your plan. Hey, not a problem. I'm like <laughs> I mentioned earlier, but I'm like so surprised how many people like walked up to me and said hi and talked it was it was really cool like i didn't know what to expect and y'all are awesome um so there's an easier match with ancient Voice rowing maniacs it's not that like without, without dark patches in ancient you can't load it up all in one turn so it's not really that great like you don't want that two pressure just sitting on your bench at that point, you're just playing Moon to, to Dunsparce. Alright, I don't think it's actually that that good. Yeah, you're, you should like if you want to play Baby Moon and Big Moon, then you just play to Dunsparce. And maybe play a. I mean, maybe. 
just like the biggest issue is the Turos and Zard, because you're basically two hitting early game and that damage just gets wiped away. Um so that's just that's just pretty bad. Like it's kind of funny, like the Turos in Zard have turned in like turned from stall counter to Oh yeah, this has great synergy with <laughs> this is great against Ancient, and now we have the double Charmeleon, so we can just like heal and re-evolve and stuff. Oh, I cut the fighting because attacking with cloth is not that relevant. I don't think even if you play Cabalion that it's favored for ancients. It would make it better. What are my thoughts on 151 Sandshrew? It, it it's good against the map like it's like probably niche against Zard. It's definitely good against control. But like I mean tacking for control is kinda cringe when control is maybe two percent of the meta, three percent of the meta on a good day. Um I've like I kinda thought about it for a minute and like put to play in control for mirrors and for Zard. But the Zard doesn't is like the Elchu isn't like a super integral part of Zard's game plan. It's really like I guess just for just against control, right? Really, where it like really likes to have all its bosses and Turos back. But then you also have like the Sandshrew on the bench where they can boss and knock out, which is kind of not good. Yeah, it's only plus 30 damage. And, like, Ancient can scale in the late game to one-hit Zards. It's just, like, if you're not hitting big knockouts until they've reached three prizes, and they can stick Radzard in your face or collapse their Pidgeot so, like, they have no two prizes in play, like, you can't really afford to start three prizes behind, but, like, the Turos make it so you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. And also, Ancient's like pretty fragile deck. Like a lot has to go right for it. So, like, I don't really want to cut consistency to go slam in a couple co <laughs> a couple Cobalion co saying cope and Zard. Um. Like, what would you honestly cut from this list? You're cutting Vacuum? Like, <laughs> feels bad. The Elephant is a Cabalion? I mean, I, I, I guess? Great Tusk is kind of funny in a Mirrors. And against Chimpow. The fight energy seems bad. <laughs> Coridon just like sucks to open then. Like if you open Coridon and you're not playing fighting, then like what are, what are we doing here? I think you have to I think you I think one is probably correct. You don't play any more because this card is pretty terrible. But yeah, you're gonna start it. And you don't just want those games where you started to be totally chalked. It's impossible for you to one shot Charizard. I mean, how many ancient dudes do you play? You put two, eight, you put four, eight, eleven, twelve, twenty, twenty four, twenty five, twenty nine. So you like if if we're cutting back for Cabalion, we'll just so we have twenty nine. Um, we we would need twenty three in the discard pile of one, and we still need so much. Yeah, I like. You probably have to play two for it to like realistically matter. It did matter in finals, yes. But also, Jake did kind of troll. 
Um, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure, like, LDF played, like, maybe even double Cabalion, honestly. Or, okay, only one. I'm still, like, pretty skeptical that it actually matters that much with all that, like, the heavy turrets are. Because, like, even if you do scale in the late game, if you're not doing anything for, like, the first three turns, but uh, you don't do anything until the Zard player takes three prizes and you've gotten to the bottom of your deck, then... Um... I think any of the new ace packs. Um, maybe unfair stamp, but cape is super good. Have I found Mela so so far? It's like okay. It's not amazing, but it's it's okay. There definitely could be a better 60th card. Hey, that's good, Larry. <laughs> that That's good. I like thinking earlier, like, if I were to cut Mellow, what would I add? And it'll probably just be, like, another consistency card, honestly. Or maybe Magma Basin. Like... And, or just an, another stadium in general? Or since backup with Thornton? No, that, that's not it. Like, if, if I was playing Roseanne, I'd probably be playing Devo also in my list, and I don't really want to play Devo. Uh, I was thinking, like, Calamitous Wasteland sounded kind of cool. Um, but I'm not sure how, like, good it is. So, like, like, stadiums would be sticking more to this format. Um... You know, do like Wasteland Fang Snipe sounds pretty broken, but like, how how good is that actually though? Like, I think Roseanne is okay, but it really only makes sense if you played Team's Evolution and you want to easily recycle Devo. Um, I'm not trying to cut Mawile. Mawile is never getting cut. Mawile is very important for this deck. And yeah, it won me several games. I did run Mallow for Orlando. With my deck, how do you beat Zard? Um, you use just like use Mimikyu to force him. Well, I I'd say initially you either use Chi Yu or Luxray. To bait out resources, force them to play the game right. Because if, like, if you just let them sit there and heat tackle and knock themselves out, that's kind of bad. But then once they go get a big Zard going, you go back into Mimikyu. And they usually burn all their bosses to get around the Mimikyu and do not take all their prizes. They have to go back into Charmeleon to get through the Mimikyu. And once they do that, we go back into Cloth. And they can't really deal with Cloth. After that, and like, or even you could even just go in with cloth straight away now since they're not playing max belt anymore, and just penny loop their penny loop your cloth until they run out of energies. This retreat lock isn't really the move against Sar anymore. Like, since most are on double Turo or half Turo, doesn't really work. Um. Yeah, like, like, blindly into Zard, I would never, like, like, even if they, like, open Luminion, I probably, like, wouldn't go for the, like, I guess you could, like, push a Blacks and maybe bait a boss, but I wouldn't just, like, <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't think I ever would go, like, Mawile, pull up Luminion Tempting Trap, like, later in the game, I guess maybe if we still had Cape, I don't know. Depends. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Even with towards crazy. Um. <laughs> even even yeah. Even with, with the yellow two, the match is still fine. Yeah, I don't think Boof one's very relevant. I, like the only matchup I think that it's like pretty good in is Lost Tina. 
in every other matchup it's just not necessary it's like hard to use or just you already win it anyway um because it's like one one of the reasons people were were playing it was because like oh it's it's good in mirror right i lost in their energies and then what do they do but <laughs> what i what i've had a mist energy on my chi you and a fire energy and i and i mill you over and over again like have fun with your energies on your bouffant so it doesn't really beat mirror you already beat zard um you already beat ancient box I guess it is pretty good against Arctina. Like, Arctina and Lost Tina, like, the only match where I feel like, okay, Buffon's very good. <laughs> Melo's Ike good? Yeah. That's, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. Melo broken. Yeah, I'm... I guess to get like back to the ancient box question, like is ancient box a good? To be truthful, I don't really know. I guess my gut would be no. Ancient box is probably like a tier two deck, but this deck is just like not that expensive, and people love their single prizers, so it wouldn't shock me if this deck got popular. What's not? What's not planning on playing us law soon? Uh, Luxury and Airy to get rid of resources, and then as soon as I knock out my Lux, we go in with either Radzard or or a Whippy Tough to knock out their attackers. Um, because it's hard for them to build up. Sometimes two attackers, they rarely can get three in a game. Uh, because we're getting their gates and their rods and stuff. Um, but sometimes it can be. It sometimes it can be hard because like they can just like gust or pressure your Pidgey early. Miss Force Sisters is pretty good. It's like, so I was, I I I like after Kremiscoli's list came out after EUIC and he didn't play it. I was like, okay, like Kremiscoli is a very smart control player and did not play Misfortune. So should I be playing Misfortune basically? And I still think you should, because uh, it is really good in those Lost Blocks matches. Like good against Zard. Like it. There's very few times we're just like, ah, oh, dang, like I'm playing Misfortune Sisters for a turn. This sucks. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, like, get rid of Gates, get rid of Rods, like against Sard, get rid of Vax and Rods and Palpad. Like, is it super strong? No, but like, it's, it's. Like, I don't have anything better to do to turn. Like, even this card whiffs, so I really care. Like, there's, there's a lot of upside to it, I guess. Oh, yeah, there are certainly times where you play it and you just find buddy poffins and nest balls that you want them to keep. But also, there's times where you play it against a lost box and you mill double gate plus a super rod. <laughs> and that basically wins you the game. It's only going your already ahead. I'm not sure that's necessarily true either. Because like you, cause those Lost Box matchups are basically wars of attrition, where if they can set up three big attackers, you're probably not going to win. But if you can, like, if you can do what you can to limit the amount of attackers they can have in a game, like... If you get rid of two super rods and they only have two rods left or they only have one rod to use for an entire game, that, make, that makes it things really tricky for them. But if you just have like less ways to interact with their resources, because like you already are using Luxray in, in that match, it's like pick apart their hands. So having someone to like control their decks also pretty good. The Noivern spicy. Noivern was a great pick for UIC, but I think it's just not very good now. Isn't Thornton cool for like Page if, if they can KO also with and Zard? It's just niche. Try to talk about future if I can't factor baton. Um 
So I think it would, like, retreat lock is always something you can, like, kind of think about. At least using retreat lock to, like, slow them down and build your own board. Um. But yeah, if I can't back the baton, that'd be kind of tricky. Because, like, the caped rads are... I guess, like, I don't know to two caped rads are still a play you can make that is always instantly hit you back. Um, so that's like probably still your move, right? You probably still go like Iona to two caves or Adzard. Um, and it's like funny that like you kind of like bring that up of like sisters is only good in your head because I've had like games where I just like play like a sisters that are like kind of like a Hail Mary and I like mill a vac or a rod against Zard. Like, I was I, like. Drew super slow against Zard or something, but like I, I play Sisters as kind of like a Hail Mary and I like mill their back so I can go back into cloth and I basically win the game on the spot. Like a, a good Zard player like probably isn't gonna like put their rods or good cards in their hands so they get fang separate area away. Like they're gonna make you play sisters and spin the wheel to to, to try to get it. Um It's just like you you never play you, like you never play more than one, but it's just like a situationally really good card, which is like basically what your deck is. You're basically playing sixty situational pretty good cards that Quick Search finds and gets. I mean, Aries probably better than Sisters. I don't know if you ever need a second Aries. I guess the games where Aries prize it does kind of suck. We do have luxury to. Eat stuff out of the hands. Do I have like Great Tusk over Wiggly? I don't think so. The Great Tusk is a lot less versatile into the, like the Lost Box and Ancient matchups. So playing into Zard, Walden with Mimikyu or or, or uh, Claw. Do I ever consider Zubat? Nah, Zubat just doesn't really do anything. Like, I guess there's, like, some kind of super broken card that I found, and, like, I needed to cut cards. Sisters is probably, like, one of the last cards in the deck. Like, it's not, like, super firmly in here. But also, like, this card is not bad. Like, I'm... I, I don't, like, see myself ever not playing a list without it, I guess. 101, I got the tie. I'll tie against Pidgey, or tie against, yeah, towards Zard. I'll be able to get down to, to one prize without threatening Radzard. Oh, dang, yeah, that kind of sucks. Yeah, because, like, if you, can, if you can get ahead, but you can, like, kind of play risky and discard the Rionas and stuff. Yeah. Yo, LeBron James is playing tonight? Sick. <laughs> LeBron James is like bird control. This list is gross. But shout out to LeBron for a plain bird. I price with MF and Airy. That's tough. What's the game plan against Dialga? I <laughs> hope their deck doesn't work. Here, go to the TCG player. Yup, LeBron playing control for sure. So if, if LeBron wins late night, how does that affect his legacy? Like, do we put M or do we do we put LeBron over MJ because he won a late night? Like Jordan never won a late night. I think we'd have to put LeBron as the GOAT. Like, Jordan never won a late night. LeBron over Tord? Yeah, maybe. Has Tord ever won a late night? Oh, yeah. Tord doesn't want an NBA championship either. So, yeah, definitely LeBron. For sure. It's no longer Tord versus Jason. It's LeBron versus <laughs> Tord. All right, we have a judge call game, I guess. 
<sighs> Being tired is mid. Spathra popping off. What up, what up, Brady? Brady's not one of late night either. Here we go. The Gensical Dengo Palkia. Dang, I like I'm pretty sure I faced like this exact list this weekend with the Silene Pad Cologne Double Retrieval. I'm fairly certain I faced this exact list. Was the win con against LeBron? I don't know. Why scoops LeBron, honestly? <laughs> just, just, just back it up against LeBron. It's just over. Le Le LeBron retires from the NBA to uh, play, play Pokemon. Alright, so we're up against Goldengo. What is Silene Pad? Like, they have a lot of... They have, like, a lot of pretty good resources. Like, I want to go Fang Sniper early. Um, to maybe, like, hit one of those really good cards. Hmm. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> Still think Jason over LeBron, okay. Three cop weekend? Hey, that that that's pretty sick. Survival cast and Lukia goes hard. How do you ever I so you're are we playing Arvin so we find survival cast? The uh, Blood Moon Ursa Luna does seem pretty good in that deck. I guess Blood Moon or Saluna just seems pretty good in general. <laughs> Wait, so we just like put the survival cast on like a big chinchino? So it just like nukes something, keeps the energies, nukes something else? Just luck sag it? Oh yeah, I forgot. We're talking about Lugia. We just high roll everything. We're at the casino, right? Torn with a dunk on LeBron. Figurative, figuratively or literally? <laughs> Is Thor literally dunking on LeBron? I would pay to watch that. Now I get it? Okay. <laughs> just, just, just high roll. Sounds pretty good. I wish we could use Cleffa going first, but it's fine. I guess opening the uh, free, free retreater is pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> instead of yeah, instead of like Tord versus Jason to settle the good debate, let's just do Tord versus LeBron. DTE. Like from Gimme. All right, let's let's see what we can what we can do. We prize the Pidgey. All right, that's good. Like so I can play heavy ball for Pidgey and save the nest ball. Uh, Prizing sisters sucks. They don't play Iona, so I I can probably just yeah I can probably just chill. We don't have the bird though just yet. No Ultra Ball or Arvin. That's kind of annoying. At least we have Cloth and Mela though. <laughs> right, they're popping off. Kind of. Going for Fang Snipe seems kind of good. But like also, well, uh, yeah. I'm not drawing cards, I'm not getting the bird set up, so that seems kind of bad. They just call for family. They really didn't have that great of a turn one. They go second gimme over a Palkia, which is interesting. So I think I just want to instant charge again this turn. We probably use this Nest Ball to get down another Pidge. Um, or we could just go like 
put down lax boss up the ninja and just like try to slow this game down if i don't hate either because if, if they're gonna burn their prime like that do i really i mean i, I would care but it wouldn't it it, it it would be okay still no candy or not we know still no pidgeot Rip. And we did prize one and one Arvin. Right, they evolve. And also if they like might burn their cologne here to retreat and that'd be a dub. That's a cipher. Could be cipher for prime catcher KO Pidgey. That would be pretty spicy. I would really like to top deck it out to Pidgeot's deck. If they only can draw one of these cards, so it might just be Prime Catcher, or they could be saving something for next turn, like Turo for next turn. They don't. Yeah, they don't quite know. <laughs> Imagine they like Prize Cologne Turo boss and prime catcher <laughs> and the ninjas just stuck okay they have the double oh did, did, did they stack a golden go on top coin bonus into golden go then coin bonus into their other card yeah, that, that'd be pretty next level that would have that been pretty broken <laughs> what, what if they primed my rotom that would suck I'd probably be more mad about that than Prime on Pidgey. And that's not just because I have backup Pidgey in hand. <laughs> that means I'm not playing Pokemon. I'd be kind of surprised. Okay, they do play the Cologne. The Snorlax baited the Cologne out of them, so I'm cool with that. Now Mimikyu is very, very good. And there's still a Silene and Palpad. But... That's fine. That's just one other thing that they uh don't have or have to get back to win the game potentially. So their hands is gonna be like yeah, there's gonna be like a one card hands. Uh, but yeah, they have have all their coin bonuses and whatnot. I would really like to just <laughs> drag up the Palkia. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we got them to burn an SER and a Cologne just to take one prize, so that's pretty solid. Your yeah, Aerie doesn't do anything. Aerie's funny, but it doesn't. <laughs> Aerie, the one guard hand, just. No. Yeah, this looks like an instant charge. I don't know where my Pidgeots are. What's up, Zid? I can get all, all the way back up to five cards in hand. Nuke my Cleffa for 100. I mean, yeah, there is the, the there was one Arvin and one Pidgeot prize, but I still have... Three Arvins, a Pidgeot, three Ultra Balls, a Luminion, a Forest Seal Stone. Like, <laughs> I got options here. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Oh, wow. Pokestop being fraudulent for, 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 for both of my Pokestop opponents. They, it, <laughs> it's been on fraud alerts. They did give me stop too, so yeah. Do we rip the stop? I think we do. It seems it seems good. Aries definitely could pop off right now. Come on. Poffin. Poffin for Mimikyu is not bad. We have plenty of outs in the deck. Let's go. Broken. I 
now we're gaming. So I think I want to check their hand first with Airy, and then we decide what we want to do. Sick. And, oh, and we can snipe the boss. Okay, okay. We are uh, we are absolutely chilling. The Pokestop is very, very real and very good. I kind of don't want them to like Palkia and one hit my Luxray. Broken. <laughs> How optimally works plus Pokestop. There we go. Bro is seriously worried that the Apoki stop was like, gonna get milled. <laughs> or the Pidgeot was, was, was gonna get milled. And it was never in doubt. Destroying them? I don't know about that. Prizing sisters is kinda kinda lame. That's alright. They, yeah, they have like just pal pads and gusts, and I guess they have Silene as well. You know, to mill that pal pad would go crazy. Oh, they could get back Lost back and knock. Well, this will be a basic short. Oh, they could get Palkia back, take this KO. That would be pretty bad for us. They did pop. They they did only use one coin bonus, right? Yeah, they did the ear dub before the second coin bonus, which is kind of interesting. This is definitely not destroying. <laughs> this game is still very losable. Okay, they they're just gonna retreat. Oh, they were gonna. Okay. Are they playing for the knockout here? Because they have energy retrieval in hands. They would have to have coin bonus or top decked SER to get the KO. And we got them to burn star portals while well. Turgo's in the discard pile. Yeah, I guess they must have ripped SER. So they do get this knockout. Uh, right? Yeah, they do. Sheesh. Um, you've been meaning to ask this, but what do you do if Zard uses Heat Tackle Charmander to take to, to kill the Charmander so you take prizes? Um, if they're going to do that, either put up Cloth or Chi Yu. So if they keep wanting to Heat Tackle the Cloth, they run out of energies. And, um, or just Chi Yu hopefully mills enough good cards by the time they knock themselves out, like it wasn't really worth it. This is a this is a yikes. Um <laughs> now what do we do? I I I own it to two plus knockout with Radzard? Maybe. Or not. Well, shoot. Yeah, I don't really have a good play here. CC a Palk. Treat into Mimi in instance. Yeah, this is very sketchy because uh, they still have the Silene pad to get resources back. I can't ever get the Pal pad. When well, I can't like get the Silene either because they just insta play it when they draw it. 
As long as their Pokesop doesn't just go rogue. Pokesop is not helping them. Oh, I can put back in the Turo. In the boss. But so much pressure on... Oh, because I also like the vacuum, so... If I put the thing on the Mimikyu... This is very sketchy. They play themselves down to a zero card hand. So I guess we're not playing Airy. So they're gonna, gonna go, go try to Turo Ninja and win this game, I guess. Let's not let them do that. Um, I probably did the, the other Pidgeot, like, unfortunately. All right. If the, if the Zard go, like, goes at Heat Tackle Approach, you kind of, like, have to stop using Luxray if that's what you tried to, to do. But, yeah, it's, it's fine. I wish I could, like, ripped, I guess Ripping Sisters wouldn't have done too much last turn. Okay, four cards in hands. I'm going for the jealously singe does seem kind of cool. Right, there's Irida. What is Irida get them? It's an energy retrieval. Yeah, I'd really like to play sisters here because like such good odds it hits the vacuum. Oh, dang. I think we penny up the Pidgey here. So they can't go back, plus... Sure, I can and win the game. We make them... Like, ha like and they have enough energy stranded that I'm not worried about Pidgeot's. Getting blown up. It's just Razard K Ninja. Could be a move, but we're still several cards away from that. It's not several, but we were enough cards away from that. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, good night. What's up, Gabriel? Silene for Prime Catcher, I guess, could really ruin my day. Am I winning? I mean, so far we are. This game's gotten quite sketchy. Yeah, they can draw their entire deck. So, what's BDAF? Charizard. Silene. Fake card. Let's go. <laughs> this card's not real. Okay. Oh, what does BDAF mean? Best deck in format. <laughs> Silene is fraudulent. Okay, I think we just win now. I think. Not 100% sure. Uh, because Aerie is very scary, Derek. Right, attached to active. So now I kind of just like want to boss up the other cheese sticks. There's another energy stranded. Sure, that this seems good. So I can boss and penny. Yeah, sisters like guarantee hit the vac would have gone crazy. But unfortunately, <laughs> sisters would be so good right now. 
So, yeah, the sisters heard the uh, heard the uh, complaints from Chad about not being good enough, and then decides to. Uh... Ooh, that's kind of scary. They could technically win now. Oh, dang. So they need seven energies. No, they need eight. They need all of them. Oh. Yeah, that's just not happening. Yeah, because they have two stuck here. Have to attach one here. But the vacuum, though. Oh, dang it. Dang. Uh, we might just lose now. Because they can draw their entire deck. I guess we know there's a boss in there. We then you they have the last SCR and vacuum. If one of those are one of the prizes remaining, they do just lose. Is it really hard to play the second IRL? Are there more cards in the hand? I guess this isn't a big issue. It's just <laughs> not being able to see your opponent's list is annoying. But all, and all the potential plays that you have just make this deck in general pretty hard to play. But I, I don't have issues having a ton of cards. I'm I'm working on making a post rotation guide. Okay, that was one of the cards in their deck was the nest ball. So the other ones have to be SER boss. They even have enough cards to discard though. And vacuum has a lost zone a card. How much time is left in round? Are they trying to like slow play me? Oh, there's eight minutes. This game is finishing. But I'm guessing that they don't have it, or they would have just slammed everything down by now. I'm guessing either last SCR or color or, or uh, vacuum's prize. They attached to active. Sharon's care win. Toro would be so much better than Sharon here. Just to pick up the uh, bird. I totally would have done that last turn. But I do have the I can just mill that last card. Uh, so if they don't have it, I do. I'm guessing they don't if they're like, taking this long. Because like Nest Ball didn't check the deck. Like they <laughs> they can see that card. Um, so I wondering if they realize that, that they don't have it and they're just trying to slow play. Yeah, Sharon can only pick up damage damaged colorless pokemon so yeah maybe that's what they're because we know that all right broken they'd have to well have like six energies in hands combined with all that stuff i guess we, we can check it was like something other than Yeah, the, one of the pieces was prized. Either the last SER or Lost Vacuum. I don't know, but that is definitely a common thing that happens. Is the people just... <laughs> think if they stop playing, it's just... Yeah. I'll just... I'll, I won't play any cards. The game will tie. It's fine. That was sketchy. But yeah, the Silene double tailsing. Probably did it for us. She discards two. But it only discarded one there. Because there's only one card in deck.
broken. 3 0 starts. <laughs> More Hayden, the Golden Go Enjoyer. It's a rough world for those Golden Go Enjoyers. The people who like. I, I had one incident like that at Orlando that made me very mad. Someone was shuffling my deck after every surge and refused to start their turn until after they shuffled my deck. Because it's like not technically slow play, but also it's just so unnecessary. Um, like, <laughs> you're shuffling my deck because you feel like I'm not doing a good enough job randomizing it, or I mean, you, you're really afraid that I'm stacking. But like, if I'm just sitting there and we're and I'm just penny looping, or Silene looping, or whatever. And I have quick search to access any card in my deck anyway. Like, <laughs> what do I need to stack something on top for? I just draw a quick search and grab whatever card I want. So just like, can you please not shuffle my deck every time so we can finish this game? Yeah, it, like the, the, the people who just like play from the tie right off the rip are... I mean, it's technically a viable strategy. It's just irritating. Yeah, they, they went to locals because they wanted to shuffle their opponent's deck. Yeah, it was... It was very excessive. Yeah, like if... If you're trying to save time and actually try to win the game, like I'll just like tap the deck, like if I if I'm just trying to, if I, if I'm trying to finish the game, it's those people who are just like very clearly making sure the game doesn't finish that are just the worst to go up against. How shuffle after every quick surge? Yes. <laughs> what? Nice. Watching him again. Let's go. That's epic. Should we, you should be going to Indy. <laughs> I'm playing Pidgey at control again. I, I'm 99% sure I'm playing Pidgey at control again. So, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to play. But there are a lot of other good decks out there, too. I think if anything, Control is better positioned after Orlando going into Indy than it was going into Orlando after EYC. Because there's less of a... It's, it's, it's out of sight, out of mind. The Moon decks did well. Guardi did well. Less Ancient Lugia. Or less Future in Lugia, I mean. Like... As long as it doesn't go on, like, win Sao Paulo, like... I mean, even does win Sao Paulo, I don't care. <laughs> I'm running control again pretty much regardless. Please tell me you cut Buffon. Please tell me that was your Euro 1 change. Rip. Seapow is very fun. You cut the fighting for Amela. Seems good. Yeah, fighting, fighting isn't real. Are there any key matchups where a Spather is better than Wigglytuff? Um, I guess Future Hands could be one. <laughs> Boom is doing that. That's a total troll. Boof is not. <laughs> You're trolling. I'm s same Frostfire. <laughs> Absolutely same for me. Oh no, the Rapid Strike Enjoyer is still coping over no, no, uh, no, no uh, Rapid Flowing anymore. Buffalant is a quintessential win more card. If it, if it, yeah. 
if it were like so so much better into your bad matchups like if it like totally like won you arc tina or lost tina then sure but it doesn't so yeah what is indy indianapolis regionals <laughs> yeah just just, just play miasco rada if you're really that obsessive of putting down damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon, then you gotta discard grass energies now instead of waters. I'm sorry. Comes in like eight matchups. But only like two, it actually really matters though. Like, sure, it helps versus Zard, it helps versus Ancient and Dun Dun Moon, but you already win those. You're gonna play control again for. For Indy, you just need to switch up your attack. Seems good. Like, the, the only reason I would play Buffon, I guess, would be Lost Tina. That's the only matchup that I'd be like, well, I, I really want to beat that. But like, I went 1-0 against Tina on the weekend. So it's not like Tina's really that bad. Like, I'm not playing a one-card tech for basically the Tina matchup. Like, I, I, it is splashable elsewhere. Three-year start rigs, for sure. But in, like, almost all the other matchups you listed, sure, it's good, but I'd rather be doing almost... Or there's a lot of other things I'd rather be doing in those matchups than using Buffons. Sure, it has utility. It, 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 yeah. It's not, like, dead. But like, I'm, I'd rather just be doing other things. Like if you're if you're leaning more heavily into Boof, you probably just like cut like Wiggly and you just like like play like, like more Boof and Riz and stuff, and you just really like really try to use Boof on as like a. I did have the list I built. I like two, I had like two boo for Riz, um, and some other stuff like like that. Yeah, ancient is. That's like my biggest knock against Buffon. Like most of matches it helps out in matches you already win. So I'd rather just devote that slot to something else. That's like universally like I'll just play another consistency card. Like I'm never unhappy to see. Second Iona or second Forest Sealstone. Oh. Yeah, we just we just we just play good cards. Buffon on paper, I think, is a lot better than it actually is in practice. It's also like the awkwardness of setting it up. <laughs> Bro just said it was good against Ancient and said nah it doesn't do anything. What? I'm confused. It definitely does stuff against Ancients. Like their early game is kind of slow without ninja, you lost certain energies. Like it's definitely good against Ancients. But like your deck is already extremely favorite into Ancient that it does doesn't matter. Like <laughs> this, this is this is a very funny statistic. It literally, and not all these lists play Buffalo. Like I'm sure some do. But like online data is like notoriously like kind of low for control because there's bad pilots and whatnot. But like yeah, bad pilots and all, we're still eighty eight percent into ancient box. They play Penny. I mean, it doesn't matter. They should not play... They should not bench Coridon either way. Because then they're not having I mean, to bench Flutter mains too, and you just spread all their energies out. How did you walk all the way around Orlando and not see me a single time? I don't know. I guess to be fair, I think like the same spot like every time in between rounds, so if you weren't there, I didn't move around too much, aside from like getting to rounds and stuff.
I don't, I don't think the ancient players should ever be benching Karaidon against you. Like going to LA? Probably not. <laughs> if I win Indy and we get some cash, then sure. Has LA capped or is there still space? Dang, the five minute timeout goes crazy. When I went in the R, yeah, for sure. So you'll see me at Worlds? But what if I'm not? I'm not I'll be at Worlds, trust. Do any coaching? I've done it a little bit. Table one versus Dundun Moon? Okay. Dundun Moon with two? Oh, come on. That's disrespectful. Dang, okay. I think this is still fine, but like, come on, really? Oh, you're winning, Andy? Okay, I'll give, I'll take second. It's fine. I'll take the the seven seven and a half thousand dollars. That's fine. Well, they got Mastermind's Grand Haze round three and four round nine. Sheesh. Hoping to see see a place in this tournament. That'd be pretty sick. Oh, LA already capped? Dang, I did not know that. Benny is actually legendary. It's crazy bro's still in seniors, because we were juniors at the same time. Bro was just like eight, but... <laughs> yeah. Absolute legends. Have I ever won against Benny IRL? I know he bounced me in top four once. Have I? Sheesh. I know I beat him in Swiss, but never in cut, I don't think. Um, dang. Uh, so I guess then, yeah. <laughs> if, if LA is already full, then definitely no to that idea. I think next season you should do more regionals. They're a lot of fun. If you can afford it, it's 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 a great time. You played a gouging fire? That's crazy. Alright, let's see how this goes. Cause like Dundum is usually fine. Okay. I normally want to go second, but that tomb is so scary. Okay, like like they don't play Buddy Pop in that one. They're not okay. No, you're you're playing a bad card. Your deck's not real. I don't care. Rip Mulligan. That's true, all in standing on those floors for that. That's why you play control and go to time every round. So you don't have to stand on those floors waiting in between. See, I'm a genius, chat. If you, if you hit more than one Zard and Shin Pao player, definitely win Orlando. For sure. How close were you to winning Orlando? Is this actually real? <laughs> yeah, chat. If I hit 14 Zards, I'm winning Orlando, chat. For sure. Oh, they gave me an artisan? Alright, artisan for the uh, spirit tomb. Do it. Rip. What place like it? I got 83rd. Kind of choked the 601 start, but lost the $1,000 money match. <laughs> it was okay, though. Dang. I don't like that.
Uh, tomb is real and it hurts. It hurts very bad. And the seal stones price too. Dang. I can go pop in here. They have ultra ball here. Just so we can have flexibility, maybe. Okay. The good dollar the pay. Well, if I just a jiggly puff, and we pass. Excuse me, so having a bad start for sure. And USC with Yul's Pidgey at Mirror says Chi you hit better. You also also the, the, the lost future box in your wrong name. Well, uh future box definitely is pretty bad. And the mirror does kind of feel that way sometimes. It's like, oh you you hit double pad, so you just win. Or yeah, you're slightly hit double heads to throw pal pads back in. They have the bot they're only boss straight away like that. That's pretty broken. And not gonna lie, that, that's pretty cracked. New Daisy's item is ringing at the hotel. Goaded. Oh, now I CC up Tomb and force him to fade out. I'm such a legend. Unfortunately, though, I have to super ride back in Pidgey because the other one's prized. Aha, see, you weren't expecting this. <laughs> Pass. You forgot to use Jealously Singe? What a throw. Dang, I'm getting the dummies going now. Uh oh. You can't reward them for bad sequencing. You're supposed to. Oh man, God, you give them give the give, give them bad cards. Maybe it's not that bad sequencing. But you don't you don't want to draw in you you don't want to draw into Pokemon. You want Artisan, right? They must be punished. They must not hit Prime. If they have Prime Catcher and the game rewards them for bad sequencing, I'm, I'm gonna be tilted. <laughs> not how it's supposed to work. Bruh, that's so cringe. That is so cringe. Come on. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? It makes me so yeah, like see you did it. You if your if your whole play the entire time was an artisan for the moon, then you should have done it in the first place, please. Come on. Alright, can I talk to, can I talk like an Arvin or a candy? I deserve it. This is bad. It's fine. They're out of gust. That's there. Th there's some silver lining here. One two on legit. I used to play it. It's it's possible. It's something you you can do. Oh, she was Loki bodying me. They just fletch. Okay. All right. Now we now, now we Cleffa. And we are Loki gaming. All right. We just grab the uh, bird. Rip five, always pull candy or Arvin. Trust. Why is it not UB for, for fish? Because Tomb is down. So that would not end very well for me. And we just didn't find Arvin or candy. It sucks. I did not play against McKinley. Yeah, they're playing Tomb and Dun Dun Moon, so. We're getting kind of rolled.
Yeah, we found Rotom. <laughs> no. Oh. Their hands ter terrible, but like I can't punish them. This is making me angry, chat. Very angry. All right. I don't care. I'm thinning. I just please. Has like Arvin or Candy Trust. I, I hope so. We have we. I don't know why I prized Pidgeot all four games today. Why like, not knocking out Lax? Like if I just could just start swinging with Wiggly, like we kind of just win this game. Like especially like like an Iono low hand the plus start swinging like they're not gonna really respond to that. Counter capture. Bruh. Shoes. I don't like want to mill vessel though and give him more damage or do I care? You can have nest balls. Give me your spirit zoom. <laughs> LeBron James put down Blue Minion under Spirit Zoom. True. Massive misplay. Alright, they fade out. So now Ultra Ball is alive top deck. Come on, deck. Let's go. We're, we're in this game. We are we we are in here. Okay. I think I just grab Mist and pass for this turn. The next turn we, we go Iono and we start gaming. Because they still have a massive deck. Um, yeah, sure. We can do this. <laughs> go ahead, put your tune back down. I dare you. Like they're holding on to capsules. Like, okay, there we go. Yeah, they take a KO. We hit him with the item to two, knock out Moon. Um, Harvin did decide to show up. Why didn't they evolve? They have a, a, a done sparse in hand. Why don't you evolve and bank it up for later? I'm confused. That doesn't make sense. All right, well, now I'm ready for your deck to fall apart. I'm ready for it. No, I, I, I aried and checked and checked the, uh, checked the hand a couple turns ago and they still had it. They haven't used the, the Dunsparce in several turns. Smack. Is this the guy who top in the USC? They they definitely had the Dun Sparse in hand. <laughs> if, if I even to double the Dun, that'd be so annoying. They have nothing going on. I called it, chat. I called it. Um, Arvin for Pow Pad to put back in Sharon. Get this loaded up. Go back in Sharon. Yochi or probably I I I don't know honestly. I I don't think we like need the Yochi with this many pads left. Um, it's fine. 
Oh, you're watching me didn't have to done? Am I just trolling? Stream sniping. <laughs> Congrats on the finish of the Orlando list. Yes, it is. Top deck of the Dun or top deck of Dun Sparse. Yeah, because now I just counter catcher up. Yeah, the tomb is back. Let's go. Hey, the sack tomb. All right, I just CC up. All right, can I get the heads, please? All right, let's go. Double heads, even. We're, we're gaming. Now I'm going to quick search for the vac and gear of artisan. So they can't get back moon easily. Broken. We'd love to see me on stream when's the next events. The next North North American event is Indianapolis here in three weeks. I paid extra for for the premium uh S S Silene. I had to play. Do I ever just like share it now or do I I don't know if, if I'm Like, how are we losing here? Hmm. I don't think we are. It was very sad not to, uh, not to get on stream because they were. The whole Discord was trying, spams, Twitch chats. I didn't tell them to do it either. It was just a funny thing that happened, but I understand why they didn't, because even though I was at 501 on the win it in, it was against a insanely good matchup and would have made a pretty bad stream game. So I don't know what to play. I would say you have time. You, you do, there's three weeks. Just be like Liam and just net deck toward and just win. Okay, now I play the now I play the Sharon because like my only loss con would be them just like totally popping off. And this like, yeah, it takes away any any loss con I might have. Cause I, I was not a multi prizer in the active spot. Thin, thin, smack, let's go. Yeah, their, their deck doesn't really appreciate Wigglytuff. They have a nest ball. I give them big moon or ninja, I guess. Okay. Okay, they're gonna draw some cards. But they can't gust this turn, which is which is a massive problem for them. I guess they could go in with the with the Moony X. Okay. Pass. I don't have it because my my boss is prized. Um, but there's no temple. I could just smack. Uh, um, 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 um. What well, would be pretty dope if, if we'd save the evac, but we didn't because we're smart. It's all right. We st still do this, and I think we still have win guaranteed. I'm pretty sure. 
Um, do we play the pal pad? I should. I guess we we could pal pad back in. Um, Silene and a penny. We hit them for two fifty. And yeah, they can't. They can't gust. Uh, since boss and prime are both down. We're on the same list. Yeah, this is the same list as Orlando. Or will be the, it would still be Wiggly tough. But they still have to find that temple. And then they're also putting a moon in the active spot. You're just basically Wiggly tough and Rads are price trading. You can go early Luxray as well to try to um, get rid of uh, resources and stuff because they don't always have a great answer early on. Alright, broken. <laughs> Even with the two, we just eventually set up and then we, we won. And there's boss. Someone, <laughs> someone told you, if you can't beat him, join him? For sure. We're, we're popping off. Go. Need countercatcher energy. Wait, did I just not even pay attention to them having countercatcher? Oh, true. But they, they would need their 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 one of catcher. Yeah. I guess what I what I could have done to guaranteed win because that technically wasn't perfect. If I if I would have not rebenched the Wigglytuff, then I would have missed energy my Pidgeots, and then Rads arted them. Yeah, there 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 would have been no loss condition. It's there's definitely pros and cons to open and close lists. So knowing what exactly like having the peace of mind, like knowing exactly what your opponent has, is amazing. But also just your opponent not knowing what you're up to is really good as well. Like playing it 15 rounds of closed list in Orlando. I only got bodied by me not knowing their list and then playing unusual counts like twice. Because um, most of the time you, you can make an, an ed educated guess as long as you're familiar enough with... Um, Counts and stuff. I'm not gonna buy with it. Yeah, I know that music was so loud. Like especially if you were like at the higher up tables or like by the wall, it was so bad. Pokemon players are are, are way too slow. It kind of depends on your area, cause like I think for the most part, like my vocals aren't too slow. But also I play super fast. I got told this weekend that I play too fast for a control player. Um, I'm gonna blitzles back. I am. You've been playing this deck for a while now, but post rotation is you know, Noibrin. Uh, Noibrin actually doesn't really do too much against future. Now that they're almost all of them are playing two psychic energies. You needed good control content here. Yeah, Wiggly's up is so much more versatile, and like now that people are playing like Fire Energy and Ancients and Psychic Energies in Future, Noivern doesn't really beat anything. Like Noivern is just blank spots in your deck. For the secret listing, you got body by a future box list that you could not figure out over. I've never had any X, but none of the future hand stuff. Interesting. Noivern could eventually become like the play again, but people are way too prepared for it right now. Nah, Buffalo ain't it. 
what all is this what was what all is at for right now there's a cpal arctina that would be scary there's a zard nice towards zard guard chomp hold up okay how would i tackle this That arc grabber deck's pretty funny. Yeah, you, you definitely can't play Noivern and Wigglytuff. There's so many Zard with, with, with the Torrid build. How do you counter it? You just have, like just go in early Chi U, and they can't really answer that very well. You just penny loop the Chi. Like once they Zard it, you go back into Mimikyu. And yeah, you just basically play by. Um, once they, once they try to ch Charmeleon your mimic you, you go back into cloth. Is Arctine a hard matchup for, for Pichu Control? Yeah, it's one of the next harder matchups. Yeah, I've been, when I, when I used to play Lost Box, I got told that too, like, it's, it, it, it's always kind of weird, because, like, there's like one guy in, in our area who's like played Lost Box for forever and he's still so slow. It's like, it feels kind of deliberate. It's like, I've played so much Lost Box, I know what to do. It's. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally get it. But also, like, even if like playing fast might not be the most advantageous thing for control in best of three, like, I comfortably play that fast. So like I'm not gonna like slow myself down and be like uncomfortable with, with my pace of play just so I can maybe kind of <laughs> it kind of feels unethical too. Like I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play how I play, like I don't care. It probably is disadvantageous, but whatever. I'll just win. If we control Nox with the entire single rounds. Bro, I <laughs> literally like every single one of my rounds was going close to time. It, it kind of low-key sucked. Lost log box. There are some of those LZB players just like they flower select and they look at the hand and look at their discard pile and look at their hands and it's like, bro, just... It's fine. <laughs> it kind of sucks how hard slow playing is to catch IRL too. Like it is, because like as long as the person who's slow playing isn't dumb, they're just not gonna slow play when the judge is watching. Um. Yeah. It's not how to, how to spam Razzard. It's a lot harder now without Clara. You just sometimes have to like, have to like preload super auto energies in, in, in your hand if you know it's going to be a matchup where you have to reuse Razzard. Will Arch Drago show, show up on stream again? It probably will eventually. I want to try out the deck. I just haven't got around to it yet. I had, had wanted to watch one of your matches for like 20 minutes. It's super awkward. Okay. It's wonderful meeting you in Land of Death. Your favorite YouTuber? Hey, that's sick. <laughs> Thank you. It was it was really awesome seeing a ton of people out of Orlando. I was... There was like one time in between rounds where I got like stopped by like four people in like rapid succession. It was really cool. Zard? Zard. Towards Zard? No, this is elite. But no, it's like the double. The oh, the they they cut a turret. There's no, there's no yellow cheer. Oh, this is so much better that they have a pal pad. Okay, I I can discard that so much easier. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, y'all didn't have a sharpie. You're totally trolling. Bro, I tried to get on stream, and 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 y'all tried to get me on stream too. 
It just wasn't. I I I hit Zard on my win it in, so like, it's not gonna. It wasn't ever gonna get streamed, unfortunately. <laughs> I should have hit a more even matchup. I'm sorry, chat. Trust. We'll get it at 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 ND. I I owe it to y'all. Get on stream. You see the timer like chess, not chess clocks, ain't it? What happens when I'm shuffling my opponent's deck during their turn and their chess clock is running? Oh, I've let's let's save my life. What a legend. Wait, you signed an autograph sniper? That's pretty sick. An autograph for the drop crew. Let's go. My phone hasn't checked in yet. Are we going to get check in slow played here? Oh, they saw the uh, blue Ditto jersey and then they wanted you to sign a Ditto? Oh, they just check in right as I come over here, bruh. <laughs> uh, chess clocks ain't it, they're so impractical. Sick. Once the tutorial, I'm going to start working on it. I just have a lot happening right now. There's some cool behind the scenes stuff happening too that I can't leak, but it's exciting. Um, but um, I'm I'm gonna work on it. Like hopefully, I'm I mean, I'm gonna try to get it done before indie, but hopefully we'll be done sooner than like three weeks. I hope we don't a lot sooner than that, but that's like the <laughs> that's the latest I wanted done. But I'm gonna try to get it earlier, a lot earlier. Are right, we open cloth? Which I guess isn't the worst because they're yeah because they're not they're not playing max spells. So that's like fine. I think JW liked your your blue ditto jersey. Yes. Yeah, this game's fine because we can Arvin for Arvin for Poffin for a seal stone and get get down the Pidgeys and pass. I'm saying because since I'm a control player, I don't like chess clocks. No, that ain't it at all. We prize an Mimic you. We have we have we have to be a heavy ball though. The issue with that chess clocks is how much interaction you have with your opponent's board during their turn or something like that. Like, I play super fast. I would benefit from a chess clock probably, but it's fine. It's just, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Did I see the Charizard cosplayer's last name was Ketchum? I did not, but that's pretty sick. Bro's got infinite plot armor. Yeah, ch chess goals are never happening, so I don't think you have to worry about it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> The time rules, though, uh, I, I don't think the time rules are, are broken. It's just there's, like, a lot of longer decks still. Like, once Lost Box rotates, it'd probably be better. Yes, we would be fired. Gross trolling. What does suck, kind of, is I can't... Oh, wow. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I see you.
just had ha have the nuts. Right, I could have gone double Pidgey. And that might have been cool, but I didn't. What a legend. I forgot two bravery charm or one bravery charm. It's fine. Even the candy Zard Prime Catcher with nothing else is sick. <laughs> That's it's 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 really good. I kind of just want like grasp here, but it'd only be like a grasp for like two. I feel like if I just cloth here, I'm not like. Yeah, I do kind of want to grasp. I think. Yeah, I just like burn this somewhere. I guess on the. It's okay. All, the, all those hand fidgets to shuffle your hand for no reason, you'd be fine slapping your clock. Well, that's not the issue, Brandon. Um, I'm fine, like, if it were that easy. Then sure. You join the scene again? Oh no. The, the hand fidgeting is insane. It is like the greatest part about Pokemon. <laughs> I would not play Pokemon if I if I if I couldn't do that. I fidget with, with my hand like a maniac. I try prize Pidgeot every single round. All right, let's shuffle the deck because there are good cards stuck on the bottom. I might get cooked just because I'm not setting up. I just got the guardian of this deck. It feels fine because, like, if they bench lock, we spread all their energies out and retreat lock them. And if they don't bench lock, then w Wiggly Tough can just carry. I don't have a fidget cube at all. It's just. Yeah, flicking is insane. <laughs> I would totally quit if I if I couldn't fidget with 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 my hand. Like, what else am I supposed to do with my hand once once it's my opponent's turn? Like. <laughs> there was like a big twitter thing where someone got like mad and said that like they would never understand people who did that and all this stuff and it's just like calm down okay this is still pretty bad top deck dude Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just lose, but it's 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 fine. There's every four rounds out of eight. That's wild. I just like be future box. Um, you shovel axe early to slow them down, and then you prioritize trade with with Wiggly Tough and Radzard. <laughs> you have noise canceling headphones. I don't think you can. We that that Iono cooked us. It's crazy how hard, like, we weren't even at Pidgeot before the Iono, and now we're just like not even close to it. Like, <laughs> oh, imagine if they, if they played an Airy right now, we would just cry. Most top deck for sure. To me, we're a little excessive. Never, no way. That's not a thing. Um, 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 we top deck Mimikyu, or we top deck Pidgeot, or Ultra Ball, or Forest Seal Stone, or something. 
or not. <laughs> oh, I should have just gone double Pidgey turn one and we and we 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 win. I don't know why I went Lumi or why I went Clefa. It seemed good at the time. I'll see if they have it. I mean to be fair that they, they had the nuts. Alright, this pass. On top deck, top deck, top Okay. <laughs> We're in here, chat. It's not over. All right, we penny the, the Luminion. We missed on the Pidgeot so it doesn't get devoted. Okay. <laughs> Easy, for sure, for sure. All right. So they they quick search and held the card last turn. I wonder if it was energy or boss or what it was. Because I can't boss my bird twice, which would be kind of scary. Um, because I can go cape and stuff. Hmm. Let's see. They still have a single boss left. You know what? They, I'm just, we're, we're just guessing. You, you, you grab back. No, oh, they win now, Rip. Assuming that the, the, the vac is prized. Dang. Airy wasn't it. Cause like, I could've gone Sharon and I'd still probably lose to boss. Dang. Like we could have gone Iono, but like that just just delaying things. Hmm. Yeah, rip. And they're not playing the game until they were down to two prizes left, and they still have like all their important cards left. That kind of sucks. But if we if we just win double Pidgey turn one. We just don't lose. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I, I don't really know what else we could have done that last turn. Like, we could have gone Iono, but we still just eventually lose to them because they, they just like quick search boss pass and then quick search back and win. I, I'd have to like Iono into Luxray and Luxray Fang Snipe boss. Yeah, that would, it still would have been very bad. But then, like, opening Charmander draw pass into Candy Zard Prime Catcher, my only Pidgey, was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know if we, what else we could have really done. Aside from just go double Pidgey turn one. Do they even play Devo? Oh, they didn't even play Devo. Dang. Yes, starting four prizes down just is not the move. Like, if I can just set up and, yeah, play the game, that would have been pretty good. Oh, well. We'll just win out. It's fine. Your son was in juniors at your local Sundays. It. What the heck? <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> okay. Not sure that was just bait to try to get me to read that. That's a um interesting situation. <laughs> Advanced strategy.
Is art isn't an easy way anymore? It, I mean, it is. I just have to play the game for. Yeah, I, I, I can't let them take four free prizes. But that's like also bird control with any deck. Like, if you set up slow enough that they can take four prizes for free, you're probably not going to win a majority of those games. You face a champ out when you can see it after you win first and getting Frenchy Everlasting Darkness. Sounds about right. But now it goes crazy. It's funny, that, funny that, that, that that's like the only Zard here at the top. There's like no other Zards. And we, and we, and we lost to it, right? Well, yeah, that's sad. It's all right. We just got to win the next two, make top eight, and yeah, it's fine. LeBron James F1. Imagine we face LeBron James in the mirror match. That would go pretty hard. LeBron's definitely favored for sure. With the with the Devo Yakumo and the Boof. Oh, okay. Yeah, LeBron would definitely be favored. Wait, but there's just one Silene though. And three pad. So I have like way more recovery. So that's kind of good. Would LeBron be, be favored actually? He's the best Bennett player in the room, but how many other Bennett players are there? Oh, yeah, see, of course, you're, you're simultaneously the best and the worst Bennett player. That's crazy, Brandon. I can't believe that that's real. So our lucky seems broken because not people aren't big brain enough to play it. There's another straight Banette. That, that doesn't count though. It's not a. I guess it's Banette a real deck. Sure. Yep. Yep. Banette. Banette's not real. It went O two. It's not real. Yeah. Not real. Wait. Oh no. Uh, this is Hedrick, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so we, it's, we, we, we all rolled that one time when Hedrick played Goldengo. Oops. Uh, and what if... <laughs> now he's it's, now it's on Dialga. Okay, that, that, that'd that be pretty bad. I hope we do not. How is there like, bruh, Dialga? It was Dialga versus Great Tusk at 4 0. Oh. Bruh, how? Ooh, Great Tusk playing Trimmer. This would not be a free Great Tusk matchup. Yeah, like, I don't. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be free. We still could trap Ninja or Mawile or Mimikyu. I guess we just do have like the factor that their deck just doesn't work. And it'll be Sister's Hand Trimmer. What are the Gouging Fires players doing? Um, not very well. Should I put Benet sometime? Should. Benet is broken. Benet Tina, though. Benet Tina is where it's at. How do I like lose to Zard? That's like still very depressing. Just skill issue for sure, for sure. This is such a weird group of decks at 4 0. Like Tusk, Guardchomp, Dialga. <laughs> no, yeah, this is. This is quite the, uh, the group. Tina's bad for sure. Dialga Brogan. Dialga is something. This I guess when it works, it's scary. It just like doesn't work though. It's like kind of the same thing as Lugia. Tina's bad as will probably. Well maybe not though. Is Will's played Tina the last two events?
I mean, yeah, my deck just did not work, so it's fine. Tina. <laughs> so many Tina haters. But even when he, like, interviewed at, like, EYC, he was, like, saying, like, it's like a new format, like, not the same old Tina. Like, but yeah. Diago really ain't it. When Diago pops off, the deck is crazy. Was that a... Yeah, this is, like, the list that... Kind of, like, Drew Cannon played. Just, like, no, no Arvin. If you're going first, like, wouldn't you, like, want heavy poffins, though? Like, more than just two? Because, like, getting the Beldums down is kind of important. I don't know. Guardi coming back is pretty interesting. I think Guardi is, like, one of the better decks in format. Like, one of the most underrated decks in format. It's like, how underrated is it, though? I guess going to EYC was underrated, but, like, it just got third and ninth, so how underrated can it really be? <laughs> like, still... Like, there's still people who, like, doubt Guardi, though, and it's, it's, like... It's very, very real. You don't even know how to play Teen, honestly. Me neither. Is it Guardi auto loses Zard? No, Guardi probably actually is a really good Zard matchup. I don't, I'm not actually sure if it's really good, or it used to be really good. I would assume it's like still good though, right? The vacuums probably still make it weird. Like you drift loon in one hit, but then it gets vacuumed and knocked out. But you just drift loon in one, in one hit again. Also, mimic you is so annoying because like you can take prizes with your mimic you as Guardi. And keep an entirely single prize board and force them to be the first person to put down a multi prizer. Does Birkin have a good match against Gardevoir? Yes. Uh, did the Agarchomp lose? Oh, wait, which one was the Agarchomp? I'm, I'm tripping. There it is. There it is. The Agarchomp did lose. This would be very interesting to face. Their deck, I don't think, would really appreciate Mimic you that much, but I guess they could just keep charging up Groudon. <laughs> Can't really just wiggly tough because it's weak to fighting. Our jump is free retreats. We just like mill all the candies. No Slither <laughs> Oh, bro, you got the Groudon. Groudon slabs. Like you seeing good in Japan right now using the new A spec and Turbo Hands falling off. Lugia is always gonna be good, right? <laughs> is it just is like Lugia gonna be like the new Zoro box where it's like trust me, Lugia is good. Um I guess Lemonless doesn't have it, but like yeah, it has been doing quite well, but it also was doing well before. Like the new A spec. And turbo hands it aren't Lugia's issues though right now. I mean they it's just like the deck is inconsistent and survival cast and the lack of hands is good, but you're still inconsistent. Well there were like Lugia's a solid deck, it's just with his inconsistencies it's hard for it to be super good. Like, yeah, you can, like, you can do this and play play the full research and ton of ball search and you're still kind of a pile. <laughs> no poor Burnett anymore, true. Yeah. The, uh, th yeah, the survival cast just seems like kind of cope. I don't really believe it. Like, you, you can't find it. Like, 
sure when you or if you find it that seems pretty good but you just can't <laughs> there's no way to search for tool cards and you don't see a ton of cards with lukia Would the expelling tornado shift tree any value in your video control deck? It could, but it's pretty easy to play around. If your opponent didn't know what was coming, excuse me. If your opponent didn't know it was it was coming and decided to do and like benched, locked themselves, and you were able to shuffle all their attackers back in, yeah, that'd be really good. But I don't think it would ever work against good players. But maybe you do that, and you like also have like Erica and stuff to like bench or to. Snorlax trap if you're not gonna bench lock like that's your uh like you're not like a key thing against playing versus control is not over benching anyways so and now that, now that like Erica's and Snorlax is less of a thing I don't know I guess there there could be value to it but it would. How much value? I don't know. Lost on Blood or Saloon. The cards is really good. And a lot, like in Lost Box and Lugia and Control, it's gonna be pretty good. You still have to find the vest, though. <laughs> You're not finding the vest. We, we have no Arvin. We're just gonna, we're gonna rip into it with one of our two researches. I wanna play one or the other. Because Mawile is good, since most of the time we will have Pidgeot in play. So we do not want our opponent to be able to boss like a round Snorlax and break out of Retreat Lock. Uh, Snorlax wouldn't be active anymore if they played a boss. Um, but also just sticking up Snorlax is good, like because early game sometimes we'll, we'll like want to be able to force more resource out of our opponent. And it kind of sucks to use them all while because we're not instant charging and setting up our own board. Um, but like Mawile is usually like what you're closing with um, since so you can retreat lock without giving them bosses as a uh, switch card basically. <laughs> Blue giving 30%. I don't, I, yeah, Blue, Blue just ain't it. I don't think it's Twilight Masquerade's changing it. One copy of Arvin. I could see it. Like, if, if Survival Cast is that broken in Lugia, you probably play an Arvin. What does that A-Spec do in Lugia? I guess it just ma like, it makes it like your rat tanks a hit, so you get a ton of value out of rat, I guess. That's the only thing I can think of. Yes, Ursaluda will almost certainly be going in Pidgeot. 360 HP just blowing stuff up. Yeah, that seems really good. <laughs> yeah. Ursaluna Gaming. I wonder if you play Ursaluna and Razor. Have there been any, like, City League control lists? Not that we, uh... Not that we endorse City League. City Leagues aren't real. Oh, there's a Pidgeot thing right here. This list looks like a disaster, like one pokey here, and we're expecting to set up. Hmm. Yeah, like why are we playing two sisters two areas? Can like we just play consistency instead? Yeah. <laughs> City leagues just aren't real. Happy the barrel. Or Saluna. Sick. Is, is like the new Greninja, like, I guess it, like the Greninja and Iron Thorns I know have got a lot of hype, but they aren't winning too much. But I guess they're, they're, they're city leagues. How, how real are they? Hey, gross. I have to get out of here. We're seeing double Lux right now. Like, we are, yeah, all the sanity's gone. <laughs> like, legacy energy w would be better, because, yeah, I agree. At least you can actually find your ace back. Uh oh, it's a future hands. With a cart with Erica. 
two boss and prime. This looks like one of the top eight lists from EYC. Well, this is not what I wanted to hit. But okay. We can still win this. They're 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 hobo rank. It's fine. They're not a real gamer in a master bar. It's funny how like everyone was like Greninja rank before. And now if you're like not at least Master Ball, like you don't really play that much. Maybe there's just like so much work that goes into the whole Thraki engine. You have to play like that bad stadium just so you can get it to work. Future's a gimme, I have this? Okay. No, you're, you're, you're just using Archeops to load up the hands to take like an early two prize knockout. And it doesn't really, it's not really like much you like lose out on by, by playing it. It's not like you become like, I mean, you're basically sacking Master Ball for Ampy very much. We don't have to play like Earth and Vessel and stuff. Like we can just play one hands and the one legacy energy and it's fine. You just amp. Yeah, that seems good. Gives something better to do early game against those single prize decks. Instead of just like hitting them with Snorlax or something. Making me go first? That sucks. This is not very good for us. I don't like want to open Road Tom and let it get punched and amped afterwards. So I guess we open Mawile. Open Mew, which I yeah, pretty good for them. Top deck Pidgey is pretty busted. Oh, um, we'll do this so it doesn't get primed. Charge. Your Cantina starts playing a, a Signal Jammer makes Ancient Box much easier. It could. I guess like Tina doesn't have a stadium that it just like like path was such a natural fit. It doesn't have like I mean Sinnoh and Artisan just sort of exists. I could see it. But they do bin a capsule. I wonder if they decide to bench crowns or they're just not gonna do it. At least not yet. Gen for one, okay. Gen's not real. We got a Luxury next turn? I guess we do, and we do a Pidgeot, as long as four Seal Stones in there. We'll see, I might, I might prefer to attach to a Jigglypuff. Oh, they, they attach a Future Capsule. They didn't Baton. And commit a Psychic Energy. Okay, this is interesting. <laughs> this is already going kind of fine. Another gen. Alright. So they're gonna amp me. I would hmm. It'd be sort of cool to a threat and they would yeah, they definitely really wanted that restart. It'd be cool to like throw the threat and rads art if they amped. Sheesh, okay. The deck just keeps giving me good cards. I don't have to defend Luminion even. Did we prize the Pidgeot this time, chat? I hope so. Oh man, like the first time like all day we haven't prized the Pidgeots. I still need a draw supporter in hand, probably. You're probably right. They have a restart anyway. I don't hate Fang Snipe here. There, there could be a boss as well. Um, so it, it's probably fine. Um, let's just get down the uh, Wigglytuff, I guess.
Wait. Okay, I bored. I was like, oh no, did I just troll? But no. <laughs> Not yet. Well, yeah, it, it's something that they couldn't instantly play. Well, there could be a boss or a prime catcher or something. It was not it. Their hand sucks, which I suppose isn't the worst in the world. <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, crown plus lightning energy. Yeah, energy did make sense. Oh, did you bench the Iron Crown? Okay, well, that's that's cool. That they can't really bench another crown, or they do get kind of bodied by retreat lock. Good luck, sneeze. Yes. Hmm. Oh no! Come on! The restart for two into Prime Catcher! Bruh. And they do have to... Arm press. That's crazy, they restart into... That. <laughs> Pretty good. They still can't ever amp me. And they benched a second crown as well. Okay. They bench a third crown. And they and you still can't Oh no, they they have the capsule. You they, they they can't amp. Never mind. Never mind. Bro, how'd their hand go from lightning energy plus one crown to this? Radzard would go so hard right now. We just win the game if we read, sorry, but we can't. It would go super hard though. Surprise. That sucks. Let me buy the candy too. Oh no, we can I'll play the foul pad. You could just penny and do it, but I kind of want to reduce their hand. I want new cards. Hmm. Tough. If if I if I whiff, we just fang snipe. It's fine. I need new, new cards. See, we, we did. And hit the heavy ball. Okay, this actually doesn't seem that bad. Because we can, like, as long as the thing is stuck, we can try to build this Radzard. And if we just nuke this hands, they're in a pretty tough spot. They just have it? Yeah, they did. <laughs> it's crazy how their hand went from Lightning Energy Iron Crown to Prime Catcher, Iono, all the crowns they could amp. Yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. There was one Switch card in this list. They did just instantly pull the Arvin. Oh, the Arvin into Peak Excel would suck. Dang. Did not miss again. Only one switch switch left? Yes. Oh, they're getting greedy. Bro, the one prize difference makes zero sense. <laughs> it does not matter for you. I don't know why they did that, but okay. Bird. Did 
They don't have bosses in hand. They're in deck. But well, you can keep the attack no radar. Oh, but we just lose the sparking strike. Uh, I needed to penny up the Lux and Charm. Now we still lose the sparking strike. Rip. Yeah, we just lose. I was thinking that. Yeah, I forgot sparking strike existed. Rip. We just lose. Yeah. Dang. This is why I hate the future matchup, because I was totally fine at the beginning, but they just drew the knot, so we lost. <laughs> like, if they, yeah, if they just have the turn three KO on Pidgeot, we're just not going to win. And there's not a whole lot we can, like, we bang sniped, like, we did what we were kind of supposed to do. Um... Yeah, opening me was pretty good for them. The GG, let's go. Yeah. I don't know, now we can't make top eight. That's just so sad, because that run was so good at the beginning, and then we get kind of bodied. Well, we should have just beat the Zard. We should have just gone double puff. We should have popped into for double Pidgey and just beat the Zard. Dang it. It looked so good there for a moment. Because now we're now we're knocked out of cut. Oh, rip. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not. Winning is... Losing is cringe. Losing is optional. Not having time to learn decks and getting top sixteen is pretty legendary. Yeah, I could I could just end stream and go to sleep. That seems kind of good. We we'll play two more rounds. Just play Iron Hands. Never. Well, okay, I think I'm going to probably end stream here because, yeah, now I'm kind of tilted. <laughs> and we can't make top eight, so. Yeah. I could keep going. Just keep going to move. How long have I been playing Pokemon? Since 2014. I'm old. Also, we're trying to with control. Probably future hands. I hate the future hands matchup. It feels totally out of your hands. Literally, like if they set up slowly and you can get rid of their stuff, you can probably win. But if they just do that, you you pick up your cards. It feels quite bad. You just cringe, absolutely. Let's cringe deck and format. I don't know, Lugia is pretty cringe. 2014, how old am I? You thought, thought of 19? <laughs> okay. I've been playing since I was a very small human, human, human being. Yeah, LZB does not like Baby Moon. Hitting 140 just kind of sucks. <laughs> you humans yeah what 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 are humans yeah i've been, I've been playing pokemon since i was in, in like juniors and stuff any chance at top eight no well technically yeah my first pokemon tournament of any kind was a vgc regionals in 2014 um uh, but then I guess I went to like pre-releases and stuff too. But then like I started like actually playing competitive, I guess, in 2015. For being real particular. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Making him cry. And juniors, what a <laughs> goal was to make him cry. Sick. 
<laughs> Messing your goal. It's like not to win, not to have fun. No, I'm gonna make my opponents cry. I'm gonna make their life miserable. <laughs> Wow. And in juniors, it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna grief those kids. Yeah, Turbulent does make me cry. I am I'm crying inside right now. Okay. This, yeah, this made me so sad. I can't believe we just tossed this run. All over not poffing for double pity. Oh well. It is what it is. I'm dropping because I'm tired. I'll, bl I'll just blame it on being sleep deprived over the last few days of traveling and getting back home and all this stuff. It's, it's, it's like Wednesday now. I can't use that excuse anymore. <laughs> I can't use the excuse anymore. I still am. Okay. Well, yeah, that's a wrap. I know I'm lame. I didn't make top cut. I'm a noob. I'm sorry. Um, Is there blue data tomorrow? Well, I have to win blue data tomorrow. Okay, I'll have to win Blue Data tomorrow. It's fine. Um, no, I won't misplay. I guarantee. No, no misplaying. No losing. No cringe. Oh, may, 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 maybe cringe, but yeah. Bird control is good. Just, just if you're losing with, with bird control, it's always a skill issue. And with that, on that note, 